if he's winning all, <laughs> then uh, it's just to run around the pitch to celebrate with the fans. Let's have a talk about the goal celebrations. Is that something spontaneous or is it planned ahead? No, I've had, I've had a few that were planned um, beforehand, but usually it's just off the cuff. I don't score that, that many goals, but, uh, so I don't, I don't plan uh, my, my celebration. But when I, when I do, it's spontaneous, I think. Uh, like you've mentioned, different games have different atmospheres and um, sometimes you just can't control your celebration <laughs> in certain games. I think often it's, you know, if there are proven goal scorers, they tend to have a celebration. If it's, a, if it's someone that's probably a little bit surprised to score, um, you know, they, they're a bit more spontaneous, probably a little bit more excitement. Um, so it's just that elation, that, that immediate elation. That's what football's all about, that, that spontaneous passion coming out, players and fans alike. What feeling is better, scoring yourself or delivering the perfect assist? I think when you score a goal, it's always special, of course. But uh, also because I play in the midfield, when when I, I assist, I think it's almost the same feeling. But when you score, I think it's the best. For me, scoring. <laughs> um, I think for, for most forwards, it's scoring. But it's it's also great when you score a good team goal or, or like you said, a, a good cross and someone scores. As long as it results in three points, I don't I don't really I don't really care. <laughs> And what's the first conscious thought after the excitement of scoring a goal? Depends what the score is. If it's winning goal, <laughs> then uh, it's just to run around the pitch to celebrate with the fans. You, you enjoy it, but then you just want to score again. <laughs> so it's, um, it's a short-lived celebration. Um, but it's also good because it's time for a reset. When, when, when someone scores a goal in your team, it's an opportunity, it's a break in play and you can all get together. After the win, this is what I love to do most in Manchester. In Manchester? <laughs> Depends on how hard the game was. If it was a really hard game, I'd probably just chill at home, maybe take my dogs on a walk. But if, if I'm not feeling too tired, I might go out for dinner or, or something like that. But, you know, most of our games in our league are hard, so most of the time it's just back, back to the house and just start recovering. <laughs>